We are looking at an icon in the making. Ready to make some history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. Weighing in at 303 pounds. The Immortal Hogan. From music videos to Saturday morning cartoons, Hulkamania is everywhere. Including this announce table. Try to be a little unbiased, Saxton. What an incredible physique. The 24-inch pythons are on full display, and the WWE Universe is loving it. The training, the vitamins, and the prayers obviously paying dividends for the Hulkster. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. Consequences, he faces the wrath of Hulkamania. And not many superstars have been able to say they've survived that wrath. And this Butch sure is an interesting character, wouldn't you say? You know, there was a time when Butch was about as methodical a superstar as you'd ever see. But now he's just all aggression. The man is a dog off his leash, and frankly, I fear for your safety and mine. Saxton's out. And here's a cover. And he kicks out in two. He really thought that was it. Elbow drop. A couple of them connecting. And then a little and a little disrespect for dessert. Well, now let's roll up. Dying a two count there. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. No way! Suicide dive! Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. The Kimura! Oh, the Kimura! Kimura lock up. He doesn't yeah. have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face! Hulk Hogan knows all the tricks of the trade. Corey, what will Hogan have to do to survive this challenge and let Hulkamania run wild? Lest you forget the reign of Hollywood. We know that Hulk Hogan isn't. He's got him down. Is this it? And he gets the shoulder up before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Moved at the right time. And well-timed maneuver there. And Butch got taken to task right there. Now that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to the Hulkster. Net breaker! Big reversal from the Hulkster. Had that one scouted. Squeezing with the bear hug. An extreme amount of pressure in... The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair. Cover. Kick out at one. Close call, but not enough yet. Grabs their opponent by the ankles into a powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. 
Butch. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. From behind, chop block. into that corner. Oh! Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. <laughs> Bionic elbow. Hogan getting out of harm's way. Butch continuously executing his game plan. And I don't see Butch slowing down anytime soon. to stomp in every single part of his body. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. And Hogan facing more damage as this match continues. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Butch looking for the bitter end. Does that finish Hulk off? The energy this arena produced when Hogan kicked out is palpable. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Big clothesline looking to turn the tides in this matchup. A third clothesline. This superstar is rolling. From the top, double stop. Going for the Butch with the X-Plex. Cover! There's two! Guys, what a massive upset. One of the biggest we've ever seen. I am shocked that he was able to earn a... Oh, oh my whoa. God! Dude. Frustration is boiled over. Well, the queen of the boardroom, none other than Stephanie. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Well, here's a woman who absolutely commands respect. It seems like Stephanie McMahon is staring daggers into the WWE Universe. And in a matter of moments, the entire WWE Universe will feel the wrath of the boss. The baddest slap in the business. Well, Stephanie McMahon is not to be underestimated inside the ring. Here comes danger in a small package. Focused, determined, and dangerous. Yeah, and just looking for her moment to strike and shine in this division. And from China. 
Zia Lee hails from mysterious origins, and some say she's on a hunt to avenge her father. Some may say that. Others believe Zia has more sinister and ancient roots. Now, others equals Corey Graves. With the bell, Stephanie McMahon looking to assert her power here tonight. While Steph's power may be more metaphorical than literal, she's still a dangerous opponent in the ring. Yeah, Corey, not a competitor you can underestimate by any means. And with Zia Lee, you have a competitor who believes she's on a righteous path of justice, one lethal offensive maneuver at a time. Never backing down, standing up for what she believes in, that makes Lee a very dangerous superstar. Stephanie with the retaliation. Oh, God. That hurt. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Ooh, bad landing. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. What's the best strategy for dealing with a competent opponent like Stephanie McMahon? You need to put some cracks in that confidence. If you can land some hard hits to shake Stephanie up a little bit, she won't be so sure of herself anymore, and that's when you can really capitalize. And another. This is going to be nasty kick right to the gut. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. This could be an opportunity. And now she's getting back into the ring. Using the bottom rope. Springboard sidekick on the mark. This one is headed outside, guys. Kick right to the midsection. Now would be the time for everyone to clear it. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about Anyone else is well being. <laughs> Stephanie gets countered. Oh, rough landing off the suplex. She's showing signs of slowing now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. She heads into the ring. Good defense. Long out to dry. Comes back into the ring. Stephanie McMahon. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Setting in. That running knee. Right between the shoulder blades. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Oh, kick right in the face. Victory nearly in hand for Lee. The cover. No, my, that was close. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. She anticipated that one. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! And that's the wrath of a McMahon. Hoping to end it here. This is it. And still in this. That is just pure instinct at this point. Would you look at this? She is...
There's the setup. Here we go, Byron. Pedigree! Is that what it takes to beat Zion? Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start from the top? Elbow drop. It's incredible how these women have been going at it in this one. What's really incredible is that they still seem far from finished. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Escapes with a knee to the gut. Look at these kicks and a... What the hell? Byron, I'll explain to you what that feels like. And another. Drag, nicely done. into that devastating maneuver. The advantage is turned towards Xia Li. Some hard hits there, no doubt intended to crack Stephanie McMahon's confidence. The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has themselves to blame. The Lethal Lothario is here. The high-risk heartbreaker, Angel. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing Los Lotharios, from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Angel Garza. A third generation superstar, a former Cruiserweight Champion and the biggest heartbreaker since HBK. Yeah, a truly lethal Lothario.
Time for this Lothario to get lethal. We are about to witness youth and power personified. And his opponents, first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. A collegiate All-American wrestler and a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner. Not a single wasted movement from this guy, an absolute technician in the ring. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. Here comes the Viper. The most lethal superstar in WWE history. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. A third generation superstar who had no hesitation when it came to creating his own path when it comes to creating his own legacy. Randy Orton has done just that. But prior to NXT and the WWE Performance Center, it has been said, if you were going to build a WWE superstar from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Has every tool needed to be a legend. There is no question, Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxton, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. talent with a lot of potential. And from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A stock market savant. Anything he invests in turns to gold. I wonder if he'll invest in my health food line. Even Grimes' luck has its limits. Cameron Grimes looking to add a few more zeros to his bank account, courtesy of the winner's purse. Remember the rules of this fatal four-way matchup. First superstar to gain a pinfall or submission to pick up the victory. Sounds so simple when I say it that way, but it's far from simple, isn't it, Byron? No, it's not. For every superstar that enters the ring, the possibilities and challenges multiply exponentially. Four superstars? Anything can happen. Those are some big words, Byron, but I think you're complicating things. It is simple. Get a pinfall or submission and you win the thing. And count outs or disqualifications will not be part of the equation here in this fatal four-way. 
And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxon wouldn't stand a chance. For anyone who's thought the sky is the limit, anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. What a counter by Brutus. Oof. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Treading all over their opponent. Heading up, he's thinking big. Off the top. Diving arm drag. Beautiful. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Close line. Off with their head. Able to avoid any harm there. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Belly to belly. Taking it outside the ring now. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. The Gorilla Press, Insane. what power. Up and down, not done yet. Boom! Brutus toying with his opponent a little bit. And will this be it? No, a kick out. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Delivered into the barricade. Incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. And Grimes is one step quicker. Samoan driver. And that broke Angel down a bit. Cameron certainly put his best effort behind that move. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Wow, what an overdrag. Oh, God. Ooh, charring European uppercut. Oh, swung for the fences. He knows how to avoid contact. Ready or 
button. There it is. And now to Angel. Snapmare takedown. Left by the turnbuckles. Grimes dodges out there. Standing shooting star. Hoisted up. Snap suplex. The Viper. Uh oh. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding off this crowd. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a small package driver. That just put down the Viper. When you're this far into a match, you are surviving on Angel with the wing clipper. Is it enough for Angel? Is it enough? The cover! Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. God, about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance. I'll give you that. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Into the ring again. And Creed gets warded off. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Great reversal. Orton gets the better there. Oh, I think we know what the Viper's doing. Yeah, Randy Orton was in position. Vintage Randy Orton. Ooh, elbow strike. This could do it. And the ref gets hit with an unintentional shot there. What a counter. Man, this place is jumping. Followed up with the massive hit button. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, cracking the candlestick across the head. Fires back with a crucial elbow. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, my goodness. Boom, right to the midsection. Cameron Grimes on a collision course. Stick. He can end it here. He's got him. Now we have Angel. What a close line. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. And Creed gets warded off. Angel with the wing clipper. Creed could not avoid the big shot. Big boy. Ooh, comes out. Danny Grimes. Has his opponent. There's a small package driver. That's it. Grimes just ended this. That was amazing. Orton is still in this. The Viper still has a lot of fight left in him. Grimes finally short of the moon right there. Clearly thought that was going to go a different way. Watch out. All the way. What an impact. Looking for the victory. And he breaks up the pinfall. But meanwhile, Creed. Vicious, downright savage club right there. I don't know about you two, but I can barely hear my own thoughts. The WWE Universe is making their feelings heard loud and clear. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave her well. He must have seen that coming. These are dangerous attacks on their own. And this is good.
Here is your winner, Angel Garza. What a finale to this intense Fatal 4-Way match. An amazing performance, outlasting three different opponents. It was a real testament to his abilities. Offering a handshake, classy move. <laughs> what an ego! And that ego got paid for. They should have known better than to take the bait. Obviously, a total lack of respect between these two. Tensions incredibly high. Well, here we go. We shouldn't expect a friendly bit of competition between these superstars in this one. Respect is earned, not just handed out, Cole. There's no reason to expect it right out of the gate. Maybe this match ends with a change of heart. Maybe it doesn't. But you can't just expect things to be all sunshine and rainbows heading into a competitive matchup. She's looking at it early. Uh, she's able to kick out before the refs count. She's trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. Uh-oh. And a quick pin attempt. No kicks out in time. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. Great reaction from Bel Air. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Goes down low with the drop kick. Oh, and she goes for the pin. And she kicks out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Great strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Tearing down the leg now. Right across the knee, heel oh. hook locked in. This is painful. Big forearm. She's able to get out of the way. Soul kick. Face buster. Uh-oh. Right in the stomach creates the separation. Bel Air was scouted there. Controlling the arm into a hammer lock flatliner. Is it enough? Two! Almost! Two and a half. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Watch out! Suicide dive! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. She returns the favor there. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Fought off with an elbow. The EST looking to fight her way back into control. A series of clotheslines. And what does Bel Air want next? Puts the boot to the midsection. Followed by 
the stomp. Into the cover. She kicks out with authority after two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Stomping straight down on the arm. Maybe not, maybe not. And she's not done yet. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Schoolboy, no, nope. rolls through. Oh, super kick! Saw that one coming, took advantage. Picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go! Rolling Deathlock! Rolling Deathlock! And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Fails to connect on the springboard. Crushing them with the splash. But the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to... Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Hit tossing her way out of a bad situation. Ducking out of trouble. Ooh, what a forearm club. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Oh, oh. Oof. Boom. Boom. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. This is what it means to be the EST, delivering one of the strongest blows we've seen yet. She's going up! Top rope here! You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Up high! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor! Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. We got a cover! Carter putting her opponent on notice. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually say goodnight. KOD, kiss of death. Will Belair close this out? Makes a cover. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. And Belair 100%. Bianca Belair with the power and the KOD. That can do Carter in. Two. There it is. Bianca Belair picks up the win. Here is your winner. still don't have their opponent's respect after this. At least they have something to celebrate. It just goes to show you, disrespect can be a grand motivator. Maybe not intentionally, but look at how it fueled them to get the win. That's the kind of edge they need to keep going. They need to keep the chip on their shoulder.
And here comes one of our favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Sam O-R-Joe! The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 248 pounds, Joe Coffey. The recklessly dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match. Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. Joe Coffey is a tough-as-nails competitor with an ironclad resolve in the ring. No matter what you throw at him, this ruthless grappler just keeps coming at you. And he comes at you with the intent to cause real harm. There's no sign of humanity in the way he attacks his opponents. The Scotsman isn't just looking to bruise, he's looking to scar. If Coffey has his way, this match will end in a decisive and brutal victory for him. But he'll be facing off against someone who is trying to shut down all the naysayers. Someone ready to claim a spot at the top of our business. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Ouch. Oh, man. Avoiding contact. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. Shoulder up before two. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Some might see that as a weapon. The manager's just making sure the area is safe for his client. And into the count. And he easily stops the ref's count. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Fast press! Fast press! Get fast press! And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. That didn't go as Joe pictured. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker. Big forearm. Directly to the chest. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. No, no, no. Suicide die. Whatever it takes to win. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. He 
He's returning fire. Oh, gets put into the barricade. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Back straight into the post on the outside. Ooh. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. From behind, back suplex. Enable the counter. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And Joe holding him at bay. energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Enough already. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. He's able to sidestep there. He's been placed in the corner now. No muscle buster! This is it! And there's the win! Huge win here tonight! Here is your winner, Sam. An irate Joe Coffey processing this losing effort. I doubt Coffey will let this get him down, though. He'll just use this loss as fuel for his competitive fire.
Britain's most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kid Wilson, pretty deadly. Kid Wilson, Elton Prince, two exceptional in-ring talents with exceptionally inflated egos. Jealousy is not a good color on you, Saxton. Despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. One of the most intense competitors around. And their opponents, first representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Champa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. Get ready, because here he comes, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. And from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing in at 236 pounds, Muhammad. Muhammad Ali is no stranger to a WWE ring. He's battled Hall of Famers and sold out stadiums and was a guest referee at WrestleMania. Well, Ali is undoubtedly the greatest, but he needs to remember that this is a different time with a new locker room full of hungry competitors. Muhammad Ali is ready for this one and determined to show how great he truly is. It's time to get on. As Muhammad says, his opponents got two chances, slim and none. Tonight, we're gonna see the master of the sweet science go to work. Classy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect for pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers, honestly. They're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of them. What a tech. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew it, Jordan. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, God, that hurt. Champa's attack is thwarted. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. It certainly wasn't pretty. Placing them into the corner. Watch out! Oh, great teamwork. That'll crack a rib. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to up high. Oh, the high risk. A 
completely ill-advised decision. Likely gonna pay for it in the rest of this match. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Double axe handle. Wow. Incredible impact. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. There's two. And a kick out. Not yet. Ringing the arm, looking now for a top wrist lock. Fighting back, however, punches to the midsection. Battering them with repeated clotheslines in the corner. Battering clotheslines. Here he comes off the tag. Oh, stiff uppercut. That might be it. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Oh, an overhand punch. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Great counter by Wilson. Getting set up for something in the corner. Solid form. And Ali gave an opening and it was capitalized on. Kit held nothing back on that attack. There's a tag. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Right across the chest. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Uh-oh, Forearm's gonna cut off the win. Geet he is desperately trying to maneuver out of this and successfully does. Larian. Whoa, not quite yet. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, right to my gut. Stop to the tummy. Tummy? Counters. Here's the snapmare. Followed by a knee drop. And a fracture in orbital. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. Targeting the leg there. This match is brutality starting to show on him. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, back elbow. Escapes in a nick of time. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches rights. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Just hot shot it to the outside. Uncorked a big punch. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And the corner he goes. 
was a perfectly placed target. Sliding forearm to finish the job. Tag. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Right on point. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner up. Look at it. his team. What a punch. Big forearm. Taking a moment to get pumped off of... Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. No love lost between... This could be big. Champa is in serious danger. match grueling matchup and what's going on here and look who's here ah oh, some taunting going on future matchup perhaps I'd say that's a highly likely possibility You both know what time it is. Bow down to the queen. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte. Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. Hope she stretched before this match. The submission magician is going to test her flexibility. skill. Yeah, years of training has led to singles and tag team success here in WWE. No doubt one of the most dangerous women you'll find in the entire division. A purveyor of discount dental work under the WWE umbrella.
Charlotte Flair has reached a point in her career where she truly has nothing left to prove. That is true, Michael, but Charlotte defines herself as excellence and refuses to give anything less than that when she is standing in the middle of the ring. Absolutely, Byron. And as we'll surely see here tonight, every time that bell rings, Charlotte makes sure to remind both the competition and the WWE Universe that she really is the... Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Stunning this... You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Oh, setting them up, gonna hoist them up high. All the way up and all the way down, fall away slam. A nice kip up. Man. Pick the leg. Oh man, that'll tear your hamstring. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Lives to fight another day. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? Corey, you have any insight on Charlotte Flair's mindset in this one? Charlotte wants more than a win. She wants to assert her dominance. People pretend they don't know just how superior Charlotte Flair. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. The Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. with a nice reversal. Oh, and it's trapped now and just an oh. elbow to the face. Oh, my goodness. The queen measuring her opponent. Then drops the knee. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Things not going how she'd like. That's the sort of merciless attack we've come to expect from Charlotte. Jumping knee strike on point. Stomping down. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From way up, the double axe handle. Shoulders down. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. She shows that she's far from finished. Stop after stop. Relentless. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Going up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. She can end it here. And shoulders up before a count of one. Could be in search of a second win now. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Charlotte is losing grasp of this match now. This is where Charlotte will be tested. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. And full control here, face first. Stomp right on the knee, foot to the gut. She is being destroyed in there. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Off into the pin. loss for Shayna Baszler. Baszler ticked off now, and that only means she's going to come back meaner.
has broken out for Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, Stop it. Stop oh, it. You almost oh, shut up the entire oh, arena just now. I was having fun, guys. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A storied career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT Champion, the first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. Here we go, guys. like these with talent of this caliber this is why sports entertainment is an art form We know Seth Rollins is a master of mind games, so if you're this superstar, whatever it takes, whatever you have to do, keep Rollins out of your head. Being a non title match, the mood always changes when a champion enters the arena, don't you think? And whatever you thought about this competitor before they gained their title is over now. There's a strong chance that this could be a reign that shapes WWE for years to come. Or it could come crashing to a halt. We'll get a better sense of where things are headed tonight. And then we've got Seth freaking Rollins. As far as Seth is concerned, there isn't a superstar in the locker room who can truly hang with him in the ring. Call him conceited, call him boastful, but that's just how Seth sees it. I'd encourage people to call him one of the greatest of all time. Every ounce of swagger and self-confidence that Rollins brings with him to the ring has been earned over a lengthy and hugely successful career. When you've got the resume Seth Rollins has, you can run your mouth however you want. 
Seth Rollins, obviously a very talented in-ring competitor with all the weapons in his arsenal, Corey. Do you think Seth goes for the home run swing here, or is he going to drag this one out? My advice, take your time, Seth. Save the home run swings for your impeccable fashion outside the ring. Tonight, put aside the pomp and circumstance. Be patient and precise. Rollins from up high. Up high. What? Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Pedigree. And you can't deny the finesse Rollins brings to a move like that. Effectively using the knee. He's starting to struggle here. Yes, yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Oh, there's the old stuff. That's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Single leg drop kick caught him. Ooh. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Look out! Stop! And this has got to be it. Cover. No, two count. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And Rollins not handling this well. That was it for all he knew, but it wasn't. Up high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Scoop slam sets things up. How's that for a counter? Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Right to the kidneys from behind. Turning the tables. Effective arm drag. Big forearm. Got a hold of the arm, just wrenching. Boom. it into an arm breaker. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, and then the chest as well. There's the kick. Second row. Followed by Sunrise. Good night. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Shoulders down. Oh, shoulder up before three. It's going to take more than that to keep Seth Rollins down. I can tell you that much. How much more can you give, though? Was that the last drop of gas left in Seth's tank? You got to imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Man, that was vicious. Vicious right forearm. Rollins got surprised there. Oh, jumpy knee strike. Lights out. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, what a counter. Look at this. Snap suplex. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Super kick! He's going to the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. No kick out of two. So, so close. That could have been it. I think it's about that time, gentlemen. Time for him. What a counter by Rollins. Big forearm. Here it comes. The stop. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Cover. That is it. The victory tonight. Here is your winner. Seth Rollins comes up big and gets the win. Rollins feeling the energy of the WWE Universe as they celebrate his victory. I better not hear you singing his theme, Saxton.
Here comes the first mixed martial artist in WWE history, Ken Shamrock. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds. The world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Shamrock's transition from the MMA world to WWE has been seamless. He treats every match like a cage fight. He's been the world's most dangerous champion as a former Intercontinental Champion, a Tag Team Champion, and King of the Ring. Here comes the Macho King. Bow down to the madness. And his opponent from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage. Already such a storied career for Savage, a world champion, multiple WrestleMania main events. But now he is our devoted ruler. And it is good to be the Macho King. The Macho King about to put on a show for all his subjects in the WWE Universe. Now these peasants don't deserve it. Ken Shamrock, as intense and tough a superstar as they come. An in-your-face submission style, really just an in-your-face attitude all around. He's the world's most dangerous man for a reason, Cole. Shamrock has a short fuse and a deep arsenal. He can break you in half in so many different ways, and just when you've had enough, he'll continue the torture. Definitely no walk in the park when you're facing off against him. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Stinging right to the back. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Big back body drop. Well placed kick. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Macho gets countered. Ooh. Oh, and Shamrock fights back. It was a smart bit of offense cutting their opponent down to size like that. He saw it coming. The cover, shoulders down. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's still in this. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Strikes. This match grinded him down a little. He switches it back around. Scoop. He can end it here. What an incredible match and win for Randy Savage. Here is your winner, the Macho King, Randy Savage. Ken Shamrock has to be overcome with anger after that loss. It takes a lot to outplay the combat veteran, but it seems clear edge prevail.
Well, Shamrock isn't going to take this loss on the chin, that's for sure.